Okay, so I did some work on the 67 Camaro today and I just want to go over a couple things because, you know, I don't do this for a living. So sometimes I, it's like trial and error, you know, does this work? Does that work? And uh, so a few weeks ago, maybe a month or so, I took it to a guy here in uh, the Phoenix metro area that does nothing but works on Camaros, old first generation stuff. And um, took it there because I wanted some body panels aligned and things like that to see what it Besides that. First thing he did when he opened up the hood here is he kind of noticed that I had these red polyurethane body mounts in. These are the, um, you know, the body mounts that go in there. They're called the subframe radiator support bushing. About a whole kit. I bought these red ones. Had them in there, and uh, and uh, he says you got to get rid of these. And I said, why? What's wrong? He says they're too hard. They're too stiff. He says you're going to feel every single bump and, and vibration. He says hey, people put them in and they take them out. And I thought, okay, fine. But, you know, that's what he does for a living. And so I said, you know what, maybe he's right. So I went out and bought uh, a new set, ordered them. The rubber, they're much spongier and softer. And I put them in. I'm not going to go over that, putting them in. But you can see, like, right here is a new one, which is right down here. You can't see it, but it's black. And I torqued it down to specs. Wow. Okay huge difference in ride quality i didn't believe it with those polyurethane ones i'm feeling vibration and bumps and it was like it, there wasn't any separation between the subframe and, and the body itself or the road so if you're fixing to change these out look i know the red ones are cool just get the regular old rubber ones they're 40 bucks they're cheap it's not like you're driving this as a daily driver to begin with uh, huge difference. Couldn't believe it. So that's my uh, that's my thoughts for the day. I'm not doing anything else. The hood just happens to be popped up for no particular reason. I wasn't really doing much. But uh, that's it. Again, I always appreciate you looking at the videos. If you have any feedback, throw a thought on there. Give me an idea. You guys take care. Thanks so much for tuning in.